Hi everyone, Mehmet is here. Today I will talk about recording and editing teaching videos with Corel Video Studio. Let's get started. Picking the right tool to record and edit videos is really important. However, it's not easy to find it. There are so many options available on the market and people usually struggle with finding the best option for their needs. But if you are a teacher who wants to record and edit teaching videos, I think you will like Corel Video Studio 2020. It has a very well designed interface and it is more user friendly than any other software I used. Just a little disclaimer guys, I contacted Corel marketing team before I created this video and they provided me the serial key for the software um, for me to review. I left some links in the video description and you can use those links to um, download or purchase the product or you can reach um, Corel team from there. Corel Video Studio is free for 30 days and you can use the free version to start creating your videos uh, because they have almost all the tools there's no watermark and you can even upload it to YouTube by using only free version. Corel Video Studio is not only a video editor software, there are more tools comes with the package, but I will talk about two of them. Here are all the tools, but I am going to talk about video editor and screen recorder. Let's start with screen recorder first. It's called Multicam Capture. This is the light free version and it supports two devices but if you upgrade it you will be able to connect six devices and start recording simultaneously and create more engaging videos two is enough for my lectures that's why i'm only using uh, the free version which comes with video studio um, you see i have three sources here but two of them are enabled this is the screen recorder you can play around with settings and choose the monitor you want to record I'm recording my other screen right now and I'm using another screen recorder to record multicam interface. The second source is my webcam. There are also some settings you can change here. Um, in order to use one more source, you need to disable one of them. And uh, okay, this is my document camera. I can also use this one to record my videos. To start recording, you need to press record button or click F11. And now my second screen and document camera are recording. I'm gonna stop it. You can also press F10 to do that. Yes, let's see how it looks. Okay, they are really good. Um, this is how multicam capture looks like. You can use this to record your lessons. I recorded um, a part of my last lesson by using uh, multicam capture and I'm gonna use it in this video. It is time to go to the video editor and talk about that. Let's open Corel Video Studio 2020 Ultimate. Okay, here is the home screen. My projects are here and you can start a new project by clicking this giant plus icon. Um, you can also see news, updates and tutorials here on the left hand side. Let's start a new project. And when you click this, it goes to the edit ribbon. By the way, capture ribbon is for recording and importing media files. We already have those. So let's go to the edit ribbon again. And here is the main editing screen. You can see the video preview here and library here at the top right. And also timeline here at the bottom. On the library section, I have some of my media files. You might have some documents here if you just downloaded the software. I erased all those and I keep the files um, I always use in my videos here. For example, this is my intro and some other files are also here. This is the music library. Um, there are some royalty free musics here and sound effects here. You, there are templates here and uh, there are some options. For example, instant project option is really useful. I have a lot of them here, but some of them available for the free version. And we will use one of them to create an intro in this video. Um, let's check this out. I think this one looks good. I'm gonna use this one later. This is transitions options. Um, a lot of them here. Titles here with effects. And um, in overlays option, there are video files and some pictures. These are useful. Filters option adds filters to your videos. And this is the last option here. Let's talk about the timeline. These are the tracks, one video track, one overlay track for another media file. Um, one title, one voice, and one music tracks. One track for each, however you can definitely add more tracks if you need more things to add. Let's start creating the video file. First of all, I'm going to upload the files here. Here are my two videos, recorded simultaneously by Multicam Capture Lite. And um, these are the media files, I'm gonna use it for the intro. Let's quickly create the intro. I am going to edit this one. 
and I'm dragging it here uh, now and yep it is too long for the intro right I will delete the parts and use only first a few seconds okay I raised those let's scroll down and see if anything left oh the music is long you can cut it from here by using the split clip tool I'm gonna add a video at the top so it's gonna be one file yes great you can replace each media file here very easily let me add the pictures here when you drag the picture with the control button and drop it on the old file, it replaces it. Um, that's a wonderful feature. It doesn't change any effects, anything applied to the, to the picture. It just changes the picture. That is great. And let's add all of them here. So you don't have to worry about effects and transitions. I don't like the video at the top. Let's try some effects. Um, nope. This is better. But I'm going to try another video. Let me add this. Yep, I think this is this is much better. Now I'm going to change the title. Let's say Math Olympiad Prep Course. Change the font and the size. Done. I'm going to add a white screen here and uh, add the topic title in this overlay. Okay, click this title option. I am not going to choose a fancy title from the list. I will create a simple one. To do that, just click the screen. Yes. This lesson was about COMC, um, First Level Canadian Math Olympiad, 2011. Okay, this one looks cool. Now it's time to add the video files. Here is my lecture and this is synchronous webcam video. And now the webcam video is covering my lecture. It's okay for the beginning. Okay guys, our next question is from Canadian Open Math Contest. I'm going to use it like that. And I am starting teaching here, so I will cut the video from here and then resize it and place it to the down left corner. I will add a white border. That's great. It is looking good now. We can also add a transition, like fading right after the intro. Just do some arrangements and cool. Sometimes you need to see the sound waves to edit. You can check this um, sound mixer tool to see it. Let's say you need to change the speed of a certain part, like this one. You can split that part, then go to speed time lapse and then set the speed. More than 100 makes it faster and less than 100 makes it slower. You of course need to speed both videos to keep them on track. And after you do that, it's better to make those clips silent because it's gonna make a weird uh, sound, right? I'm gonna add some titles here and an overlay around it. Let me copy the old title we used. I will change the style. Yes. And after this point, you see my video um, blocks my writing. So I am going to cut the video uh, from here and then move it to the top. Same problem. Again, let's move it to the left bottom corner now and done so if you record them separately guys you can resize it um, change their positions it is pretty simple with this software we can cut it from here and remove these finally i remembered that we cut the music in the middle right we can actually use all the music here um, by doing this um, just extend it at the maximum and then cut it when my video starts and change the volume on that part Make it 10 because I want it to be uh, not disturbing when I speak. Okay guys, our next question is from Canadian Open Math Contest 2011. So, this question is about... It's good. And of course, um, don't forget to save your projects. Now we are ready. The video is ready. It is time to export it to a video format. We can go to share option and choose the video format and resolution we want to create. Um, there are a lot of options here. You can even create 360 videos or 4K videos from here. I'm going to choose that one. It is good for me. Okay, name it and click start. It's not actually that fast. I just speeded up the process. Okay, done. Let's check the video now. Okay guys, our next question is from Canadian Open Math Contest 2011. 
So this question is about functions and we are going to find roots for f of x is given. Looking good, right? I created this video guys in about 30 minutes and I think the outcome is really good for um, that short period of time. Okay everyone, this is Corel Video Studio 2020. I am using this software for a very long time and I am really happy for that. And also, most people I recommend that this software guys found it really easy to learn. So, if you need a video editor, I definitely recommend you to try Corel Video Studio. Um, just give it a go, try it for 30 days, and if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And I have a surprise for you guys. Corel is sending one serial key for Corel Video Studio 2020 Ultimate. So, if you want to participate in this giveaway, go to Facebook, find Mathematics Facebook page and wait for our updates. All the rules and everything will be there. Okay, that's it for today. Um, I'll be with you in another video about online teaching. Keep watching Mathematics. Goodbye.